I have my crown, rather resplendent, and then my whistle with all my buttons on, like jewels. But I bet the old rolls don't know how to do this. We had to move away, cause the rent we couldn't pay. The moving van came round just after dark. Oh well you can't trust the specials like the old time coppers when you can't find your way and get off me barra. <laughs> I'm Diane Gould, I'm the Pearly Queen of St Pancras, part of the Pearly Royals. My royal duty as a Pearly Queen um, is to go and raise fun and funds for charities. The Pearly Royals date right back to Victorian times, among London's fruit and vegetable sellers known as Costas and a local orphan and rat catcher called Henry Croft. Legend has it he stumbled across a shipwrecked crate by the Thames, filled with 60,000 pearl buttons. He sewed them all onto an old suit and used it to raise money for his orphanage. The suit was such a success that he got his Costa friends involved too, appointing a pearly king and queen to all 28 London boroughs to raise money for local charities. The titles are handed down through families. My great granddad was George Dole, the first Pearly King of St Pancras, and had 17 saucepan lids. My granddad, Alf, became the Pearly Prince, and then my dad, Alf, named after his dad, was the Pearly King of St Pancras. I became the Pearly Queen of St Pancras. And my sons, Terry, Lee and Simon, are the Pearly King and a couple of princes. And my grandchildren are the Pearly Prince and Princesses of St Pancras. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> we like to support royalty, like jubilees, coronations, and that's what we've bumped into them over the years. A few pearlies got invited to a celebration and the Queen came along and she looked at us like that. I gave her the thumbs up and the old, the old Queen mum, she was a girl. As in any families, you get the ups and downs. So the royal family aren't any different. All I can say to Charlie, our lovely King Charles, is just stay grounded and listen to your heart, you jam tart. <laughs>